There was one thing that had me saying, thank goodness I did that to the bike every lap of the 24 hour race I did on this CRF 230F. And that was referring to the rear suspension modification on the bike. I was prepping this bike for a 24 hour endurance race on a rather compressed timeline and felt that improving the rear suspension would be worth burning time on because the original rear shock leaves a lot of room for improvement. On other 230 builds, I had done everything from rebuilding the original shock myself to paying a huge premium to have a Fox Podium RC2 built for my application. But this time there were some new options out there and one that caught my eye was an aftermarket shock called the Von Cat El Jefe. Since this shock had a lower price than stuff I'd already been happy with in the past, I knew I had to look into it so I reached out to Von Cat in Southern California. I was assured that the shock had been through plenty of testing and revision before being listed on the market and that it should be totally suitable for what I planned to do with it, which I was very much hoping would be true because because if I grabbed this new option instead of going with tried and true and it didn't work out for me, it could have resulted in my body getting beat to a pulp at the upcoming 24 hour race. But Mark from Voncat was confident in the efforts he had put into this shock and offered to send one out prior to the race so I could try it, which obviously solidified my decision to give this thing a go above sticking with a tried and true option. I threw that shock on and set out to get some testing in before the race. After a little bit of messing around while I fine tuned the preload setting, I let it rip and tried to push the suspension on the bike as hard as I could. The performance on this shock was immediately impressive and it was pretty much immediately obvious that this shock is far more than good enough for me. The level of ride comfort is very nice. It makes the ride feel smooth without having completely numbed out the feeling of the rear wheel with the ground, which is how I like things to be. I want smoothness without total mushiness. The level of performance headroom was also clearly good. I couldn't get this thing to do anything funky, unexpected or undesirable, and I couldn't get it to feel like I was overriding it no matter how much I tried to push it. What was particularly nice is even though it is not a remote reservoir shock, it still holds damping control really well through rapidly repeating hits and generally chaotic sections because it is an internal floating piston design. So even though it's just a single body, the gas and oil stay separated so it doesn't shake up like a soda can, the oil stays under nice, consistent pressure and that keeps it in the proper liquid form for consistent damping under varied conditions. Overall, I was just thoroughly pleased with the way the shock felt on that bike. Compared to other shocks I've run on 230s, to put it simply, this Von Cat shock did turn out to be my favorite so far. It did not turn out to be the outright best performer because that is still the Fox RC2, but this shock seems to be hitting a sweet spot for me where it's more than good enough, the price is more than fair for how it feels, and because of that, I just can't see myself paying more for something higher end to try to make the bike feel better than more than good enough on this build where I just wanted the thing to be nice, affordable, practical, and still perfectly competitive. However, the real test was going to be the 24 hour race I had to put this thing through. For me, the toughest part about these endurance races, of which I've done many, is how torn up the course gets when we're several hours deep into the race. The sections that were once nice and flowy get all roughed up into jagged, dug out, thrashy garbage, and if the suspension isn't mellowing that out, it can become extra challenging and it can even become completely unenjoyable. And this course did get roughed up. There were people constantly just getting off to the side after some of the more torn up stuff, and you could just see it in their body language. They were saying, ugh, that was torture. Fortunately for me, just freaking thank goodness, my suspension kept feeling really good to me. Every single lap I was going, okay, thank you bike for not brutalizing me yet. And that continued for the whole race, just thank goodness. I even had my best rally for position in the middle of the night when I could tell the collective suckage was at its peak and I could look around and clearly see that people were not having happy fun times because it was rough. So during the race, you could definitely say I was quite happy with the Von Cat shock. I felt thorough relieved that I did not get brutalized and badly injured during the race this time and I'm very happy to see that we have another good option for aftermarket suspension out there that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Definitely check out what else Vaughn Cat has stocked at their website using the link on the screen or in the top comments.